Good afternoon and welcome to Jump In Let's Play with me, Adam, from Board at Home. This week we are taking a look at Lost Seas. This is a game that came out uh, last week. It's really fun. It's by Blue Orange. So if you've played Blue Orange games before, then you'll know what to expect from this one. Simple setup, simple set of rules, but a lot of depth and gameplay to the actual game itself. So in this game, we are charting our voyage through unknown seas. We will be collecting these tiles over the course of the game and adding them to our 4x4 grid in here. Each tile has a variety of different symbols that we will be looking to collect. And there will be a whole stack of them here that will be coming out over the course of the game. When we're creating our charts, we've got this 4x4 grid here. We've got these objectives around the edge here. So these are objectives that we're trying to fulfil as we progress through the game. If you're fortunate enough, you'll be able to get all eight. I've played it a few times and we've managed to get like six or seven of them. But it's, uh, it's a challenge there to make sure that you can get all eight objectives. So the way it works is that you have the stack of tiles and you deal out four to each player. They then create one line and then you deal out another four they create the second line. These are double-sided. So there's sort of an easier side and a harder side to all of them so that you have a bit of a choice, which I really like because this is adding to the variability in the game, which means that there's going to be who knows how many combinations of these eight tiles uh, each time that you play. So we'll just go through uh, some of what the tiles mean so you get an idea. So this one here means that we're looking to have five... Uh, of these uh, images in total in that line. So that would be three on there, for example, two on there, there's one on there, one on there, there's three on there. That's what that's looking for. This one is looking for us to have uh, one of this uh, storm icon and two of this desert island icon. So if we have that in there, we uh, get the points. Now these are exactly so if we have three, we don't get it. It has to be exact. Here, we want the uh, Desert Island to be the majority within this line. Here, again, like this, it will be two Desert Island and one Sea Monster. Here, we're not allowed to have any mountains, any cliff faces. Here, we have to have exactly five of the uh, desert islands here we have to have exactly three of the octopus and here we have to have exactly three octopus and three mountain uh, cliff sides icon so once we've got the setup done the gameplay is fairly easy so we're d drafting tiles from this center pool here so what will happen is as the first player we've got the first player marker we will pick a tile and we will then add that to our uh, grid anywhere so we're going to put that there so it fulfills the three from here we then go clockwise each other player is going to take a tile so we'll just say that those tiles have been added to everyone's boards we have one left over so it, the last player always gets a choice with that we then replenish with new tiles and this goes anti-clockwise to this player here so they would be the first person to draw so they would look and they would draw a tile then comes to us and we're going to draw say this tile here so we're going to put that in there and it fits nicely in with this theme and it's kicking us off for this one the other two players will then take theirs and we replenish And the token moves again anti-clockwise to the next player. They then start their, this round, so they will take their tile. This player will take their tile. It's now down to us to take our tile. So let's go for, say, this one here. So that one's going to fulfil our two that we need for... Uh, this tile and then the next player takes 
there, one there, so that leaves one left over. And we keep doing that. So that we've now got this player here as our first player. And then it will go clockwise round from them. So it will be, they'll take that one, that one, that one, which will leave us with the choice of these two. So we'll pick whichever one uh, we want there. So say we go for this one. So what we've managed to do here is that at the end of the game, we will get to score these six points. We've got our one sea monster and we have our two desert islands there. Over the course of the game, you will fill out the rest of these 12 squares and then you will score all of the uh, objective tiles, the expedition tiles they call them in this, around the edge of the game that you have managed to score. So if we uh, were at the end of the game, we would definitely score our six points for that. And then we would just check off the rest to see if we uh, scored any points uh, for the rest of them and then... Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. I love this game because it is uh, a fairly straightforward setup. Uh, you're just using tiles, whether it's the expedition tiles or the sea tiles. And the rules to it, uh, the actual rule book, is about two pages long. So with a nice short rule book... Uh, you can just dive straight into the game. So we'll just show you here. So there is the rules there. We do have a third page, which is a um, variant for younger players. Although I think based on having played this a few times, you could just pick some of the easier sides and uh, teach that to the children. But it's nice that they've got that in there. And then it's got a reference there for the different expeditions, uh, the different objectives there for you to complete. So it means that you can dive straight into the game and just pick it up within a few turns. Now you will see all of these tiles in every game. There's 65 tiles and if there is a um, all four players then all but one tile will be used. There are variants for three player and two player where if you're playing uh, two player and you've got your tiles here uh, each of the two players will actually pick two tiles, decide which of those they want to uh, keep, and they will add those to their, uh, one of them to their uh, chart, and the other one will get discarded. Again, leaving one tile per person. And then the same for three players, where whoever is the first player will pick two tiles, choose one, discard one, and then the other two will pick one each out of the three remaining so no matter how many players there are you will see every single tile which i do like because there are some two player games out there where it compromises the rules or you feel that sometimes you only get part of it this one does a really good job of mitigating that allowing uh two player games and three player games to effectively have the same choice as a full four player game so whilst you will see all of these come out in every game. It will be in a different uh, arrangement each time, just due to the nature of the randomness. But you've also got these, which are double-sided, and there will be uh, 32 of these out in total in this game. And I believe that there are about 40 odds uh, in total. So even with all four players, it means that we've got a redundancy of extra uh, expedition tiles which means that they adds even more variability to the game because not only are they double-sided you're not going to see all of them in every game so i like that it adds a bit of longevity to the game overall this is a uh, strategy game you are having to uh, decide what you want to do uh, with the uh, choices that are presented to you but it's one that works extremely extremely well for the entire family and it's one that works well sort of no matter what age you are if you enjoy strategy games then uh and you're sort of more of a veteran uh board gamer then this is still going to be something that's going to be of interest to you it will be of a bit of a light affair maybe but it'll be a nice as a filler game and for families, it's just going to provide hours of entertainment, again, just due to that variability that is present in the game.
So that is uh, Lost Seas by Blue Orange. If you want to give it a go, just come on down to the shop. It is in the library. We'll have it upstairs uh, on display because it is our game of the week this week. So if you want to play it, just take it from the game of the week area and you can have a uh, go with the game and let me know what you think. Well, that's all we've got time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions at all, just comment below and we'll see you in the boardroom.